Well, let's anybody's guess what alien secrets are waiting for us 400 meters below the surface. But that's what we're here to find out. Just got to find some things that are unidentified because those are the most fun. And we find a pretty healthy deposit of it right over here. Ooh, there's four of them. Wow, weird shapes too. Looking like a bunch of elves. But as we do, we just mine up a ton of this until we get to a wall that we can't drill through because we're only at five levels of digging ability. But we are still able to fill up our storage entirely. And then once we get all this shiny stuff back in our base, we'll be able to scan it. See what it is. Not sure what sort of mineral looks like a hex nut, but it's, ooh, wolframite. That'll give us tungsten. Very cool. Ooh, and there we go. Some extra drill upgrades. Oh, definitely researching this. And then we research Guam, the country. Oh, geoworms. Oh, so we can make terrarium for them. Oh, that's amazing. So that's why I picked them up. Don't ask me why, but I need this like right away. Oh my, this is a big terrarium. I'm gonna need a bigger base for this. And for that, I need more iron, which I don't have any to refine, but I can refine all this tungsten. And then there's also corridors for more advanced construction. Sure, I have the research points to back it. Ah, and tungsten is also used for additional upgrades like mining and strength. Well, right now, the only thing I can afford is speed. So we're just gonna make this a fast little drill, which I can't enter the drill until it's done upgrading. There we go. And oh yeah, I can already see the speed difference. I'm just gonna go ahead and make another tunnel. Oh, the drilling is so fast too. I love it. Just making another tunnel over to the entry point so I don't have to do the same thing every time because that gets boring. And again, I can't really talk about doing the same thing every time because I'm literally playing a mining game. But why don't we go ahead and see what sort of caves we can discover or the strange signal. Why don't we see if that's further down? It looks like it's down this way, not too far. Oh, hey, what do you know? I found some more wolframite by accident. Okay, I'm guessing it's right in this thick stuff that's looking like difficulty seven yep there it is so we'll just ignore that for now and find a cave and it looks like there's one right over here that i can reach i wonder if this cave is going to be another alien like temple thing or if it's just going to be more grass and it is ooh, crystal spark oh hello wow cave's got some rgb lighting going on i like it okay there's like energy going between the crystals Whoa, hi there. I can't scan the crystals either. Oh, I can scan you though. It's Cristaflora. Yes, of course. I definitely knew that. What is this? Looking like batteries? There's a data pad here. Log, deeper. Kenny had the right idea back on the Hulk. Bruce Banner again. New cave is rather inviting. Dornus glowing crystals. Not much plant life for food. Do I even get any biomass from this? I, can't, I don't. Huh, interesting. I also don't really feel like getting hit by the light. Although the guy did mention going deeper. Okay, the space here is very weird. We got a crystal with no saturation in it. Uh, can't touch it. But there's also nobody here. Not too sure what this means. I'm also not sure if these caves are supposed to like have some special secrets that let me do what I do better or if they're just here for lore. Well, in any case, there's nothing more here. So let's just go ahead and go somewhere else. Not even sure I can plant those crystal floras if there's no biomass to get from them. But at least I can get some healthy chunks of wolframite and some of the calamine that we discovered last time. And the nearest other cave that isn't visited is still 80 meters away going this way. Oh, that's tough. And it also doesn't look like I can reach it because it's on the other side of this level six and seven dirt. Well, let's just go ahead and head back to the other layer then and pick up some hematite because it's about time we expanded the base. Okay, now we have two full loads of hematite, which should give us 45 iron to work with. Ooh, look at this. Our plants have grown up. Oh, they look amazing. I like this arrangement too, actually. And it looks like I can harvest these for their biomass as well. Although currently our tank still has a lot to work with. Okay, so it takes eight iron to build a room or ooh, it could build a corridor with tungsten and there's a door as well. Well, let's go ahead and build a room this way first and then build a corridor right here. That should be good. Ooh, oh, it's actually a pretty small corridor. So if I do this again and then turn this into a room, I could set up like different wings of the base. That sounds like a good idea. Oh, or I could branch them off like this. Ooh, this is exciting. So then we put in a room at the end of the corridor 
Aha! And then immediately expand it this way because it's looking a little small. And then I'm thinking I'll set up this room as a sort of garden type of place with the geoworm terrarium right in the middle. That would look good. But we'll save that for later. I just want to make sure that I have enough resources for all the other things I'm gonna need. And that includes copper. It also looks like there's a cave up here that I haven't visited yet. Let's go ahead and check that out. Because there ain't no dirt up here that can stop me. Except that stuff. We don't talk about it. Well, I'll just find out what's in here. A tangle trouble. Like a jungle? Hello? Oh, well this is foreboding. You look like an olive. A tangle bulb. And there's a few of them. Am I gonna find a scientist like tangled up in the roots? Because that would be very not good if I did. Oh, never mind. I'll just find an entire shuttle. Because why not? And all of this science equipment covered in vines. Yeah. Oh, hello? Where are you? You're not an alien thing. Drill tech autopilot? What? I'm not sure how much I trust that because what level of autopiloting ended up here? Or there if that's a drill. Maybe it wasn't enough autopiloting and I just need to make a Tesla drill. So do I plug that in somewhere here or do I bring it back to base? I'm guessing I bring it back to base and maybe it's something new in the research? There's a lot of things in the research but the autopilot isn't one of them. Maybe I can already upgrade it here. That doesn't seem to be the case either. All right then. Well, I was wondering if I should upgrade strength or storage first, but since I don't have enough tungsten, we'll just go straight to storage and then maybe find another cave I haven't visited if there's drill tech like that. And that should be right over in this direction. Wow, that wasn't very far at all. I could drill straight through this, but that'd take too long. I wanna see what the cave is now. An abandoned station? Ooh, there's definitely gotta be tech here. Show me. Wow, this is quite the habitat. It kinda looks like mine, creepy enough. And there's things here. Some weird cactus things. Round root melons. That's all well and good, but... Okay, there's a lot of them. Is there anything inside worth noting? Ugh, whatever's on that shelf, I guess. And wow, this is... This is like a home away from home right here. Scan this target as well. Hmm, is it gonna say like potted plant number three? Artificial plants, close enough. And so is this one. Okay, can I scan you? It doesn't look like I can. Can't scan this computer either. Can I scan the fire hydrant? I mean extinguisher? No, anything on the shelf? Not quite. Well, this is kind of lackluster. There's nothing here. Not even a data pad that says something like, I love my plants, they're my only friends. Some Gen Z thing like, who needs children when you have artificial succulents? Nope, just the most uninteresting thing ever. And of course, there's another cave way to the north. Well, as long as I can get there quickly, quickly being a relative term, it's right in the middle of the tough stuff. And it was right next to that other cave I visited. Really? You couldn't have told me about that one game? Let's check this one. Flooded Enclave. Lots of water. Hey, at least these things are familiar. Oh, and I see that architecture. Lots of alien goodies here. Ooh, and this one is broken into. I don't know how I feel about that, but okay, there's no creepy silhouettes here. There's just one of those things that's broken and a leaf thing that I can scan. It's like Animal Crossing. Alien biomass farming. Ooh, that should be good. We'll scan this. Dr. M. Carter, number 14. Well, where is 1 through 13? I'm starting out of order. I'm gonna give myself spoilers. That's glowing differently. Oh, those are the glyphs. I can scan you for free knowledge, and it doesn't look like I can fix this particular lantern, but it also doesn't look like there's anything new over here. So I might as well just collect some of the biomass that is available. And wow, that's a tall puff stem right there. And then let's go ahead and get out of here to bring some of our newfound knowledge back home. And that biomass already filled up 18 of my storage. Crazy. Let's just fill the rest with hematite then. Hopefully collecting enough of this knowledge means that I can actually do something with it instead of just like scanning it and being like oh yay i should probably check the tab for that then let's see m carter stumbled upon a cave breathtaking discovery alien ruins yada yada architecture endeavor explore more okay so the glyphs say build a fabricator to make one of these assuming they have the resources required okay and there's more of the glyphs that i'm finding and it seems like the fabricator isn't available to me yet so let's maybe go down here and find something else that's unidentified which thankfully exists now assuming that i can get there and it doesn't look like I can, sadly. Unless I keep drilling through the material that I can get through and it's just like a distance thing. Although, funny enough, that's the only blip that I'm seeing of it. Okay, there's a few more off of the screen, but 
I'll worry about that later. I need more tungsten. Although I'm really tempted to keep going this way because I can for a little bit. And it looks like the only unidentified stuff that I'm seeing is in the level seven dirt. Gross. At least there's plenty of tungsten here. The only thing I wish about this was if there was a way to fast travel back to base from the second layer, because my goodness is this trip. And thankfully all that tungsten I collected means that I can upgrade the strength of my drill. And it also looks like I have enough resources for another speed upgrade. So hopefully, wow, this thing is fast. So hopefully that means we can find some new things down here. So this is level five and this is level six. Yes, we can get through it. Probably not to find anything unknown, but... We should hopefully reach a cave because I love finding new secrets. Okay, I'm not holding down the forward button. I just literally drove the stick up and it's going on its own. So I think that autopilot function is working. Actually, what's this? Oh, so there's the fast travel. I see. And there's actually two caves up here in this easy stuff. Oh my gosh, there's a third one. I can reach all of them. I love this. Please have new things for me. A misty cavern. I feel like there would be dwarves singing about this. Whoa. Okay, this is cool. I actually like this. I'm scanning a whole bunch of them at once. Lantern bulbs. Oh, and there's a signal? Beeping? Hello? Data pad, of course. Emergency recording. Mayday, mayday, Red Hawk 4. All right, guy just had a bad day, basically. Well, look at this. He's got another thing. Another upgrade node thing. Drill tech overdrive. Ooh. Can put the drill into maximum overdrive. And these lantern bulbs can't be used for biomass either. Huh. Is there a worm down here? Oh, I should be looking for worms. Doesn't look like there's worms in this cave, but hey, overdrive. So overdrive, what do you do? Overdriving. All right, we're digging faster. That's a good thing. I don't think it lets us dig any harder, but we're really killing time here. Okay, and then it cools down. I'm okay with that. Really trim down the time on getting over to this cave. Oh, if I can keep finding upgrades like this. Sunlit Topaz. Ooh. Okay, I'll say it. These caves just keep getting better and better. Can I scan this stuff? It looks like... I don't even know what it looks like. Ivory spindles. Yes, that was my first guess. Oh, this is so cool. I really wish I could have crystals in my base now. Oh, look, a worm! Hello, you! I have a little terrarium for you that I haven't set up yet. So is the worm the only thing down here for me then? I suppose I could take some of these just in case that's what I need to do to grow them at my own base. But I'm not seeing any data pads down here either. Okay, I take back what I said before about caves just existing for lore purposes. This was a cool one. And we got a worm out of it. So let's pick up some of the calamine that's here as well. And then just punch through this dirt all the way to the other cave and then third cave's a charm subterranean refuge Ooh, that's a good sign really hoping for oh hi there an antenna pod thankfully none of this stuff moves whoa oh branching path but what's in here Ooh. okay we have wheatley from portal wait i can scan the table more base decorations awesome and it keeps going deeper Ooh. Cafeteria bunk bed. Hey, data pad. I don't even know why I like collecting these. They do nothing for me. Although I'm not seeing anything here that really makes it worth my time. I can't even scan the bunk beds. That's disappointing. Why can't I have bunk beds in my base? Well, that's fun for what it was. Now what's down here? This is a much bigger cave that sadly has nothing for me. Can't believe the other path had the more stuff in it and all I had was a data pad. Well, so much for that. At least I can fill up my inventory and then let's see about autopiloting home. Not even a fast travel. And it's going the complete not good way of going. What are you doing? It's about to go through dirt that it can't. And it's about to, okay, it didn't hit a wall there. 20 minutes later. Definitely one of the more interesting autopilots I've seen. Not sure if I'll use it again, but that was an experience. And speaking of experience, I'm about to experience max toughness of seven. That should let me get to the secret resources that I couldn't do before. So we just set this to unidentified. Take the path of least resistance and it is right there. Aha, blue diamond. Whoa. Okay, this is taking up a four by four space. Very interesting. I just wonder how many more of these secret resources I'm gonna need before I can actually make those relics in a fabricator. Move over, Wolfram. I, I got more exciting things to get to. And it looks like there's quite a bit of it in each of these as well. That's good. So we'll go ahead and get at least 10 of these. And then we'll go ahead and see what this new stuff has to unlock for us before we start to explore a little deeper. It is Vibranite. About to make the Black Panther here. Ooh, and that has 
has a new research for us. Power storage. Allows the construction of higher capacity power storage. Sure. And now we have enough tungsten to get the next upgrade to mining. So we should be able to get those vibranites in one go. And we also have enough iron left over to expand the room as much as I want. Yes. And let us also just take a break from mining really quick because there's another undiscovered cave right here. And pretty easy to dig dirt, surprisingly. A twisted wreck? Ooh, there's giant vines here. I, ooh, oh, that's a drill ship. <gasps> Speaking of drill ship, here's an upgrade. Drill tech, drone drilling. Oh yeah, that's the automated stuff I was looking for. Oh, hiya, Hello. this is Master Chief. He's definitely seen better days. Let's just scan his data pad. His log is just titled, sorry. Ooh, so this is the drone drilling. We can set up a line, cones, or circle. Wow, let's just try a line. Oh, look at it go. There it goes! Yeah, I'll just let you do your own thing. I don't care. So we can finally get ourselves a geoworm aquarium. Or terrarium. Ah, oh, look at them! There they are! Aw, oh, little guys are adorable. I need more of them. Ooh, what's also amazing is we can get the drone count upgraded as well. I think yes. And what's even more amazing is it's no problem at all for us to get all the way over to the strange signal spot so we can continue on to 600 meters depth. My goodness. Now, please tell me there's a cave I can get to without too much struggle. Yes, there is. Which is the mushroom maze, which surprise, surprise has mushrooms. Are there gonna be badgers down here as well? I'm hearing a worm. Hello, wormy boy. There you are. Oh yeah, I got a new friend from my terrarium. This cave is now automatically worth it. Oh, oh, this is called remains. Yeah, you can definitely see that. These are giant. Oh my gosh, that's a skull. What is this thing? But at least it has drill upgrades. Drone mining drill tech again. Ooh, I bet that's the next tier of it. Like three uh da -da -da things. Oh, it's not. An I thought it was going to be another one of these like drilling patterns but what it is is mining resources oh that's perfect let's just go right over here and let's see do we just send you away and then you just find resources on your own it looks like it and it already calculated the total before it even came back beautiful but we'll scan this and is this gonna be like coal or something it's carbonide oh yes <gasps> an alloy refinery and more drill upgrades yes i'm loving this new things farther down and a new worm in our terrain Ethereum. Oh, these are the best things ever. Look at him. He's looking at me. He's like, hi there. Oh, no. Now they're all hiding. Anyway, guys, that's where I think I'll leave this video. I'm really liking the promise of so much more discovery. So make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss that. And thank you very much for watching. Sub to intern. I'd also like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donamoto, Devion X, Muffin Suffer, Lucas S, Splatter Sacks, The Real Nickname, Edward, Hateful Harold, Peggy Sue, Droop Along, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angel, and Lily Bites.